Good morning and welcome to you on another glorious day from Canterbury. My name is Reverend Jo Richards and I'm Rector here in Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter's. And I'm the Reverend Jenny Walpole, the curate here in the Benefis. And lovely that you've joined us on this Thursday the 22nd of July 2021 and today we are remembering Mary Magdalene. So I hope you appreciate um, our icon of her in the background there. But let's hear a little bit about Mary before we begin our worship. This is from Exciting Holiness. All four Gospels give Mary Magdalene a unique place among Jesus' followers. Probably from Magdala, the Sea of Galilee, she is described as having been healed by Jesus before accompanying him during his ministry. Along with other faithful women, she stayed beside the cross during the crucifixion and was the first disciple to discover the empty tomb on Easter morning. She was privileged with the first appearance of the risen Lord, who sent her to take the good news of the resurrection to the other disciples. This commission earned her the title Apostle to the Apostles in the early church. So we will be remembering Mary today. So as we begin our worship, O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence amongst us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, but Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our appointed psalm for today is Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In, most, in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord, of, all, of your goodness, have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, to the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. Glory to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Now for our first reading. The first reading is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 14 to 23. Now the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. And Saul's servant said to him, See now, an evil spirit from God is tormenting you. Let our Lord now command the servants who attend you to look for someone who is skillful in playing the lyre. And when the evil spirit from God is upon you, he will play it, and you will feel better. So Saul said to his servants, Provide for me someone who can play well and bring him to me. One of the young men answered, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, 
who is skillful in playing, a man of valour, a warrior, prudent in speech, and a man of good presence, and the Lord is with him. So Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me your son David, who is with the sheep. Jesse took a donkey loaded with bread, a skin of wine, and a kid, and sent them by his son David to Saul. And David came to Saul and entered his service. Saul loved him greatly, and he became his armour-bearer. Saul said to Je sent to Jesse, saying, Let David remain in my service, for he has found favour in my sight. And whenever the evil spirit from God came upon Saul, David took the lyre and played it with his hand, and Saul would be relieved and feel better, and the evil spirit would depart from him. And now for our canticle. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Set me a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If all the wealth of our house were offered for love, it would be utterly scorned. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Now for our second reading. Our second reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verses 1 to 3. Soon afterwards he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Chusa, and Susanna and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. And now for our responsory. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. And now for our Gospel canticle, the Benedictus. After Sabbath, towards the dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. After the Sabbath, towards the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. Let us pray. So, Heavenly Father, as we remember Mary today, we pray for all those this day who may be struggling with their mental health. For those, particularly at this time, who feel anxious, afraid, 
uncertain. We pray for those whose mental health means that they're unable to work, perhaps sustain relationships. We pray for all those charities that support those who have a mental illness. We pray particularly for MIND and for all those services that support those in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue, O oh Lord, to pray for this day that lies ahead. We pray for any meetings that we have. Particularly, we pray this day for our toddler group who will be meeting here at St Dunstan's. And we pray for our Deanery Eco meeting tonight as we learn more about the impact of climate change. Lord, may our eyes and our ears be opened that we may be able to learn from what our speakers say and from what we learn from each other. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We continue this day to pray for our world. We pray for those places where the virus is causing such havoc. We pray for medical staff who are looking after those who are struggling with it. We pray at this time for those in Japan as they are with the Olympics underway, for all those that are putting efforts into that. We pray for those people who lost their lives in the subway in China and for all those around the world through natural disasters and those by humanity, by humankind. We lift them to you, O Lord, this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We continue to pray for wisdom for all in authority, for those that are making decisions around our economy, this pandemic, so that this voice of wisdom in all may be heard. We pray this day for our church, for Justin, our Archbishop, for Rose, our Bishop, for Joe, our Archdeacon, and for our ministry team, both lay and ordained, giving thanks for all that they do across our benefice, our deanery, diocese, and beyond. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray. We've prayed for those who are struggling with their mental health. We pray for those who are struggling with their physical health this day. For those known to us who may be in hospital, recovering from surgery, for those for whom they are struggling with illnesses, perhaps beginning treatments today. Those on our prayer list and those known to us, O oh Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those who have lost loved ones, for those known to us, we pray for those who mourn their loss. We pray for those whose funerals are taking place today. We pray particularly for the funerals that take place in the cathedral later this morning. And we pray for those who mourn their loss at this anniversary death of their loved ones that might fall today. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. And as the sun shines, we pray for all those who are perhaps visiting our city as tourists, pilgrims, for those who are coming for the first time, and for those who may be frequent visitors. May they have that opportunity perhaps for recharging the batteries for some Sabbath time, for some rest, and to enjoy the sunshine. So Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect for today, for Mary Magdalene. Almighty God, whose Son restored Mary Magdalene to health of mind and body, and called her to be a witness to his resurrection, Forgive our sins and heal us by your grace, 
that we may serve you in the power of his risen life, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you, and all those that you love and pray for, for this day and always. Amen. Amen. Please do enjoy the sunshine today and thank you for joining us for morning prayer. If you can, do join us for, at six o'clock for night prayer. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning at nine for morning prayer. Whatever you do, do keep safe and keep well and have a lovely day and enjoy whatever you do. Goodbye and God bless. Bye. Bye-bye.